Hello, I am Kim Miller from Woman at the Well Ministries, and I am delighted that you have chosen to spend the next few moments with me looking at the scripture, Luke 1, 45. Today we'll be discussing the angel Graham, he keeps his promises. Luke 1, 45 reads like this, and blessed is she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Oh my goodness, what a promise. Blessed is she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Are you having conversations with him so that he can speak to your heart? Are you getting your heart and your mind focused on the scriptures so he can speak to your heart and make those promises? Yes, the promises are in the word of God. And as we read them, we can incorporate them into our lives and we can claim them and hold on to them. But listen to what he said. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Oh my goodness, that scripture opens up so many wonderful things for us to know. One, when we believe, we can have a personal relationship with Jesus. And we have a conversation through our hearts and our minds, through prayer, through study, through reading his word, through memorization, through recognizing his hand at work in our lives. And then we have the promise that those things which he gives to us, those things that he tells us through the unction of the Holy Spirit, he'll perform it. That's a promise. Hello, rise and shine. I know you have much to do today. And some of it you probably don't even want to do. Remember, God is right there with you, and he is in control of your day. Relax and hold on to him with all your might today. Look up to the sky because he's there. Look to the right, he's there. Relax and hold on to him with all your might today. Look to the left, he's there. Look at your feet, he's leading them. Get them moving and don't delay. The Lord has much for you to enjoy today. Our scripture, and blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. In Luke 1, 45. Oh, what an incredible promise. Read this verse again. Luke 1, 45. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Think about it. God has made you many promises. Some of his promises are written in his word, while others are divine revelations that he has given you himself. Regardless of how you came to the knowledge of his promise, it is still a promise from him and a sure thing. God is not capable of lying, and his word is solid and true. Right now, this very minute, list four things he has promised you that you will see you through this day and every day. Now thank him for his precious promises and trust them throughout today and for the rest of your life. Our angel to angel chat. Today you must seize his promise that he will never leave you nor forsake you. That's found in Hebrews 13, 5. You must realize that you face uncomfortable or difficult situations today. God is already there ahead of you, working the situation for your good. He is there beside you, comforting you and protecting you as you go through each situation. He is behind you, pushing you through the situation with his almighty strength. He is in control. All you must do is follow. Remember, God loves you. You are loved. Our key thought for today, his promises are true. Let us pray. Our kind and most gracious to Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you wrote so many promises to us that we might know that you love us and that we might believe in who you are and we might have a personal relationship with you and we might be able to know those things that we can expect as you guide our footsteps and bless our way. 
Lord, we're thankful that you told us in the Psalms that daily you loadeth us with your benefits. And Lord, we're thankful that you told us in Hebrews that you'd never leave us nor forsake us. And Lord, we're grateful that you told us in John chapter 14 that in your house were many mansions and that you would come again for us. Lord, we're thankful that you took the Hebrew children and they were thrown into the fiery furnace and there was a fourth man into the fire like unto the Son of God and that you protected them. And when they came out of the fiery furnace, Lord, they didn't have a hair on their head that was singed. Lord, we're thankful that when Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, Lord, that you shut the mouth of the lions. Lord, because we know that means that when we're in a heated situation that you're in the midst we know that when we're in a difficult, dangerous situation, that they can't harm us because you are with us. Lord, we're thankful that you told us to come to you with our burdens and that you would make them light. We're thankful, Lord, that you said that we could cast our care upon you because you care for us. And Lord, we're grateful for what is man that thou art mindful of us. How amazing it is to know that we can have a personal relationship with you. How great it is, Lord, to know that you draw close to us when we draw close to you. Lord, we're thankful that you never sleep or slumber. We're grateful, Lord, that you bless us and that you perform the promises that you've given us. Lord, give us a heart of gratefulness Lord, give us a mind to study. And Lord, continue to reveal to us those things that we see in your scripture. Lord, teach us to walk in your ways. Lord, help us to be a brighter servant. And Lord, help us to be a bright light and give all of us the courage to set it out and not put it under a bushel. Lord, we love you and we praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, Amen.